this is Jackson reporting for the Project Jackson TV channel. Apparently, this is the first ever Project episode on Project Jackson TV. And so to start it out, we've got an environmentally green project called the Enviro Battery Experiment. I got this kit at a nearby hobby store and hobby people store in Fountain Valley. But if you want to go get it online, go to hobbypeople.net and buy this Enviro battery kit online. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but here's what you need. Four zinc plates and four copper plates, four connection wires, two plastic cups, one paper cup, two specially designed bottle screw caps, one light tower with lead lamp, one sound chip, one LCD watch moment with protective cover, and a one set of transparent, um, one set of transparent adhesive tapes. That's all you need. It turns out, after looking through this whole instruction booklet, it turns out there's a lot of little experiments in this kit. So the one that we're going to do today is that we're going to try powering a music chip from aluminum foil, soaked cotton, and coins. And so the only thing you'll need from the kit is the sound chip, but there's also some stuff you might need from home. The stuff you need from home is vinegar, a clove peg, aluminum foil, two cotton pads, and two copper or copper alloy coins. And it turns out we didn't have any um, cotton pads, so we, I was able to rip cotton pads out of little band-aids, and so that will do just fine. So this experiment is titled Crazy Coin, Make a Coin Battery That Sings. So first you have to cut the aluminum and cotton the same size as the coin. We already did that with, we cut, we, the cotton is almost about the size of the, pe with the penny, and we have the aluminum foil. The easiest way is just to rip a little piece off and rip around the penny. Now we have to soak the cotton pads with vinegar and set them aside. They should be wet, but not dripping, as this may cause a short circuit. We already soaked them in vinegar, so what you do it is that you soak them in vinegar and leave them out to whatever they to let them dry. Then build a six-layer sandwich using this sequence. Aluminum foil, soaked cotton, coin, aluminum foil, soak cotton, then the coin. That's the sandwich that you have to make with all those materials. Then place the red wire from the sound chip on the coin side of the sandwich. Do the same with the black wire on the aluminum side of the sandwich. Hmm, fits this around a little bit. So, we have to put the red wire from the sound chip on the coin side right here. And then we have to put the black wire on the aluminum side of the sandwich. And then we have to carefully clip the clothes peg to the wires. I'm getting shocked. <laughs> <laughs> this experiment is sometimes crazy having the whole slippery cotton pads. Okay. We'll try that all over again. Red coin side. Again, without me getting shocked. Bl and black aluminum side. Then we have to carefully clip my nothing nothing is touching the wires then we have to clip the clothes peg to the wires top and bottom and so now it turns out it's making a little sound the and the music chip is making a little sound, apparently. And it turns out I never knew it could do this, but it's working. Thanks for watching.